Adventurer and humanitarian Greg Mortensen is considered a hero to children all over the world. For the past 15 years, he has made it his mission to promote peace through education and literacy. And to date, he has built 78 schools and changed the lives of more than 18,000 young girls in struggling countries. His New York Times bestseller, Three Cups of Tea, is now adapted for young readers. And Greg's 12-year-old daughter, Amira, is helping spread his message. Good morning to both of you, and congratulations to you, Greg, because well, you were recently nominated for a Nobel Peace Prize. Well, that must morning, be Natalie. remarkable to, to be rewarded in such a way already. Well, it's very humbling. That's great to see you. For those who don't know your story, start from the beginning. What inspired you to start building schools in Afghanistan and Pakistan, primarily? Well, I had a, a sister, Krista, who had severe epilepsy. And unfortunately, she died in 92. And uh, in honor of my sister, I decided to climb K2, the world's second highest mountain. Mm -hmm. um, I spent 78 days there. I didn't quite make it to the top. And coming off the mountain, I stumbled into a little village called Corfe. I saw 78 children sitting in the dirt during their lessons, right, with sticks in the sand. And so I made a promise to build a school. And it's uh, kept on going since then. Yeah, 78 schools later, and you also run about four dozen other schools right. as well. And, and you said your mission is books, not bombs. You've said if you educate a boy, you educate an individual. If you educate a girl, you educate a community. What do you mean by that? Well, it's an African proverb, and what it means is that if you educate a girl, she grows up, becomes a mother, the value of education goes on in the community. And educating girls, uh, I think, should be one of the top global priorities. Uh, it reduces infant mortality, population explosion, mm -hmm. um, also you know, a quality of health. And also, when I see young girls learn to read and write, they write letters for their mothers to the family so they're able to mm. communicate with their family. And speaking of educating girls, Amira, your daughter, has been very involved in this as well. And you've had to make a lot of sacrifices because your dad spends a lot of time in yeah. Afghanistan and Pakistan, right? <laughs> yeah. One of the sacrifices, I think, is the fact that it's such a small, we have such a small family, mm -hmm. and because both of my grandfathers have passed away, it's hard for my mom and my brother, mm -hmm. and I think sometimes I feel like I need to step in and be responsible for them because my dad is gone, mm -hmm. and I think it's brought us together closer as a family, even though he's gone so much. But you've had some incredible opportunities as oh, well yes. to really see the world through very young eyes and to see some of the challenges that some of these children are facing overseas. Tell me what that has done to help shape you. I think I'm very liter but literate about the subject now because my dad has traveled so much and I've gotten to see how joyful these girls are for going to school. Mm -hmm. Here in America most of us take school as like a have to and there it's a privilege and I think these girls can okay. open up eyes to any other young girls in what the community. What a great way to put it, absolutely. And meanwhile, um, Greg, this book is required reading for the Pentagon and some of our, you know, our military people, but now a lot of schools want to make this a part of the curriculum and you've adapted it for children. Why is this important to you? Well, so many schools, including even elementary schools, are reading the book. So we have the, the young readers book and also a children's book. Mm -hmm. And it's really kids can make a difference. Um, we have a Pennies for Peace program. Mm -hmm. um, it's I guess for lack of better words, going bananas now. It's, um, <laughs> it's in about over 3,000 schools, but what it inspires kids is that they can make a difference, and it's, it's with a penny. Just collecting their pennies together, putting it in a jar, and uh, you too can help build a school somewhere where they really need them, right? Amira? Yeah, I think um, if every kid pitched in a little bit, and it doesn't have to be a lot, a dollar a month can pay for kids' schools, and I think $12 would be able to pay for a kid's school year and if instead of like buying some toy that you mm -hmm. want and you know that you're not going to play with then you should get, donate that money to some cause it doesn't necessarily have to be pennies for peace yeah. but it could be like your local animal shelter or anything in that area so you are such a smart young lady <laughs> already you. you just keep going strong like that because it, you are amazing and your dad here is the, the right example for all of us and such an inspiration so honored to meet you both. Well, thank, thank you so you. much, thank Greg so Mortensen. Much. By the way, the book is called Three Cups of Tea, and Greg and Amira, thanks so much.